3D Touch in trouble. I'm a big fan of 3D Touch, and it has the potential to be huge. I've liked it from the start, and it's why I upgraded to the 6S. But the iPhone 6S is currently the only iOS Apple product with 3D Touch. 12.9 inch iPad Pro, nada. The new iPhone SE and 9.7 inch iPad Pro, nada. All three came after the iPhone 6S. Apple has their reasons, but you can't push an entirely new iOS interface effectively when it's only on one device from your entire iOS family. Now the other challenge, do you even really know which apps support 3D Touch? Because you don't. It's a guessing game. There's no tiny icon or indicator on apps that lets you know it's 3D Touch compatible. It's a game of pushing really hard on your screen. You forget which apps have it, which ones don't, and then you ended up not using it much. That's not encouraging the developers to all jump on board. And where's the boatload of great 3D Touch games? It's not happening right now. Really, the only app I use it consistently for is Shazam. And I'm not really peeking and popping at pictures or emails. And not that many other people are, unless you work for Apple. And the last issue, production. Reports say yield rates for the 3D Touch screens are lower than normal. They also say they're having trouble getting the tech to work properly on larger screen sizes like the iPad. So why push it out just on the iPhone 6S when clearly the tech isn't ready to be on every iOS product other than a flagship iPhone? We know Apple typically has pushed out new tech when it's ready to roll, and clearly it's not ready. So where does 3D Touch stand now? The only other product in the next year that I think will have it is most likely the iPhone 7. And Apple, this is a tech that I don't want to see die, but only time will tell. Uncertain future, 3D Touch hat. Thanks so much for watching. We'll catch you all next time for another bite of the apple.